Hi fellow Myconauts, uh, Paul Stamets here, and it's a milestone in my life to announce that we now have more than 100 strains of agaricon in culture. Now what that means is we take a small piece of tissue from the living mushroom and we put it into petri dishes and then we bank them in liquid nitrogen. Having more than 100 strains of agaricon has taken more than 40 years, hundreds, thousands of hours of going into the old growth forest and finding them. Now these are some of this, my own personal collection. Most all of these have come from habitats that were being destroyed by fire or logging, or I found them on the ground, as this case is. So there's the cloud form, there's the columnar form. This one is about 35 years of age. These are basically annual growth rings. And this is a really big old Douglas fir log, and this one is solid and it's growing, this tree is hundreds of years of age, but we were able to take a culture by taking a piece of tissue from the underside. And so by getting these in the culture, we've saved them from potential extinction. This is very important because about 20 of our strains we know, they don't exist now in the old growth forest. We clone them so we have a genetic sample of them and we can study them for their many, many health benefits. So some of you know about my research with Agaricon going back all the way to my TED talk in 2008. Please check that one out. So this is a huge achievement in my life. Uh, more than 100 strains of Agaricon.